What's good, everybody? Welcome back to the Cloud Slayer channel. Hope you guys are doing well. Today is another Monday ramble. Uh, welcome everybody back, uh, people that tune in, returning viewers, and uh, welcome in new viewers as well. Uh, hope hope every uh, the weekend went well. Had a nice long weekend for probably most people that had the Fourth of July off. And uh, hope you guys were safe and. You know, didn't lose any fingers with those fireworks, had fun, whatever you did, going down to the lake or just staying home and shooting off fireworks yourself or going into town and watching fireworks, you know, uh, any types of parades and stuff like that. And hopefully you had some, some good food. Uh, if not, then, you know, uh, if you don't celebrate the 4th of July, which some people don't, you know, hope you still had a, had a pretty good weekend, you know, maybe even, uh, you know, productive, got the house cleaned and stuff like that. Um, but you know, not a, you got to be fortunate in in these times to have a place to call home, to to have a family, to uh, enjoy uh, holidays with, and stuff like that. Because not everybody has those things. Not everybody um, builds bonds that that last for a while, even even a couple of years. You know. Sometimes it's it's hard for them to meet pe uh, good people because there aren't always good people around them, or you know various things like that. So uh, if you got those those special people in your lives, you know you got to count your blessings. Um, sometimes we take those things for granted, and you know it's very easy to do do it all the time, right? And you know you not tell you're at your lowest point or where you're at a point in your life where nobody wants to be around you because, um, you know, you may not be the most tolerable person. You may not be uh, a person that's very welcoming or maybe even just positive and things like that, right? Sometimes life knocks us down and we have a hard time getting back up. We, we, uh, we wish certain people were around to, to help pick us up, but that's not always the case. It's not always going to happen because sometimes you do push those people away, right? Uh, any type of help that they did try to give you um, was might not have been the help that you wanted, but, you know, as you start to pick yourself back up, you might realize that, you know, they were trying to help the whole time, that uh, maybe you were just being uh, not the nicest person to them and you push them away, which, you know, sometimes uh, you don't see it until you come out the other side, till you do get back up. So uh, I'm, I'm a person in that situation that, that was like that, you know, took people's uh, kindness for granted and, you know, things like that. It happens. I was, I was in a place of self-loathing for whatever freaking reason. I didn't, you know, uh, years later now, I, I realized I didn't have to be there. That, you know, I, I took, took people for granted, really great people, very special people, uh, very near and dear. And, you know, I don't, at the time I expected them to uh, cater to me, you know, like I was almost entitled to it, I felt like. And, you know, uh, I, I now, I see my, I see the errors in that, you know, because in the end of the end of the day, no matter how much help you need or want or uh, something like that, that <coughs> it's not owed to you, you know, even if you did a lot of good, if you're not willing to take that extended hand and you push those people away, you know, uh, sometimes they might not come back. They, they might, they're just not gonna continue to extend that for somebody that doesn't want the help or treats them like garbage, you know? And like I said, sometimes uh, you don't appreciate those things until they're gone, until they've been pushed away, until those bridges have been burned and things like that. So uh, if, if you, you have people that are special that are around and want to be around you, uh, you know, maybe you did some good for them. Maybe, you know, uh, you took advice or you, uh, they gave you very good advice to help you out in some way, shape, or form. And, you know, you got you to gotta appreciate it. I appreciate it with uh, a lot of friends that stuck by my side even when I was at my lowest point, even when... You know, I didn't necessarily want the help. I didn't want to listen to anybody, including myself. So um, 
I ain't gonna say now it's different because it's not, the struggle's always going to be there, but I'm always continuing to develop and grow as a human being. And so is everybody else, right? We're always constantly evolving and learning new things and, um, and at least some way, shape or form, trying to become better, a better person, a better individual, better mom, dad, uh, grandpa, grandma, what, whatever you are, whatever you wanna be better at, right? It, it always takes getting work, uh, doing work rather. And you know, what, what do they say? Practice makes perfect. And uh, those changes, they never, they don't happen overnight. Those, those uh, emotions that drag you down they don't change overnight. You can't just, if you're a negative person, you don't just become positive, right? You have to change, you gotta change a lot about yourself and you gotta realize, you gotta realize those things that need to be changed first and foremost, right? And those aren't, those aren't th easy things to do or uh, easy changes to make in any way, in any way at all. And if you never work at them, they're never gonna change. So you're never gonna change. But that, that does not mean that you don't change and you can't change because you're capable of anything, right? Anything you put your mind to, anything you're willing to work towards and things like that, right? Uh, you don't, blessings don't just come, come across you themselves. Uh, you gotta make them happen, right? You gotta make, make it, uh, you gotta kinda make those things a reality, make it happen, you know? Uh, it's not gonna happen sitting around and uh, hiding in a bottle. Uh, what's that song by uh, NF? Um, uh, I can't remember the name of the song, but they go, they say that, uh, you know, pretty much that medicine isn't something that you find at a liquor store. And for a lot of us, a lot of us that, hide inside of that. You know, I'm not saying everybody that drinks is hiding from something or trying to find some kind of healing because not everybody is. Not not within a bottle anyways. So, uh, but some people are and that's where they choose to go and they try to cope with things. And that's where it also becomes worse, where they, they think that substance is helping them. But in all reality, it's not, right? It's It's causing them to distance themselves from uh, reality from those that actually care for them and stuff like that. And like I said, not everybody, not everybody does it. Uh, I know plenty of people that drink and they don't do any of that. You know, they're great people and you know, they're, they're always out there freaking helping other people. So th there's people that can do that. There's people that also can't do that. A lot more people that can't do that. You know, uh, myself am within that bracket of people that can't do that. And um, uh, after years of denial, uh, came to a realization of that, right? Uh, realized I have to make changes for the, for the better, uh, not only for myself and my mental stability, but for, for a, a future that I wanted, a, a brighter future, right? And the, the work continues every day, each and every day. So it uh, might look grim, you might be on somebody's couch, you might be uh, homeless or jobless or something, um, but you can turn it around. It just, you might have to uh, be in that, that hell for a little bit longer, but just know that if you continue to work at it and uh, change up some of these things within yourself to make these things a little bit better, a little bit more tolerable, that, that uh, positive change, that positive mindset is just a little bit away, a little bit more away, and it's becoming more and more attainable. Um, it's easy to give up. It's easy to, you know, loathe yourself or uh, whatever type of life you had, you know. But there's people that have harder lives. There's people that have easier lives. Yeah, but don't think about those things. Think about what you can do to try to change your own reality. It's easy to talk about. It's always it's always going to be. And don't use that as an excuse not to try, right? You got to keep trying and trying, you might fail a million times over, uh, maybe even a trillion, but maybe that million and one, maybe that trillion and one is that last deciding factor to help you turn that around, right? Uh, so, but I, I hope everybody has a great week anyways, and uh, thank you for tuning in to another Monday Ramble. Um, 
you know? I, I, I like to see other people succeed. I like to see, I, I'd like to be uh, further and have a better, uh, you know, I guess, well-being myself, you know, because I'm not always as positive as maybe I show in these videos because when, when you're alone uh, in your own mind and, you know, you're doubting yourself, you're doubting the, the work that you're putting towards uh, certain things that, uh, you know, you beat your own ass. And I'll, I'll re reference my Uncle Mark, rest in peace to him. Uh, nobody kicks your ass as much as you kick your own ass. So uh, when we're in our minds, when we're in that place of uh, darkness, it's, you know, it's not a good place to be at. And we're always going to be really hard on ourselves, really judgmental and things like that. So, uh, you know, you got to you got to try to get yourself out of that thing. That even if you're surrounded in a great scenery, the best way of life, that that place can drag you away from uh, that world and bring you into that darkness within. So uh, till next time, guys, I hope you guys have a great one. And if you enjoy this content, please consider hitting that like and subscribe button. Uh, till next time, guys, peace.